Hey you guys, it's Andy with Andy Outdoors today, coming to you with another educational video. Uh, I've had a couple videos ready for y'all. Uh, I thought that I'd kind of condense them down a little bit, since I ain't had nothing really major go on. Uh, I've got three subjects here to talk about. Uh, I ain't been hunting a whole, whole lot, as you can see. I'm not a tree stand. I'm not got my camouflage on. I ain't putting the stalk on a big buck. So, uh, we'll start off with the good stuff. Today, I want to tell y'all about uh, Whitesville having a haunted house for the kids. We're raising money for the kids here in the town. Uh, don't know exactly what they're going to do. It may be a, sa a secret Santa type deal or something like that, and that's what I think it is. But I can get you more information if y'all want to know. Uh, we're going to have it here at the uh, Whitesville School. Uh, it's going to be the uh, 27th and 28th. I'm going to help set up for it. I'm going to volunteer at, uh, for it. I've done talk to few of the people that's putting it together I'm gonna help out so I uh, today's video well really any of them that you'd like I'd like for you to do it I'd like for you to put uh, put it on your social media share it to your Facebook Instagram whatever you know snap a, uh, snap a picture of it on your snapchat or whatever a link of, the, of it get get Andy Stover outdoors for this one out there to everybody because uh, this is for a really good cause this part of it is uh, and the rest of it will be a good educational message to all y'all uh, it's going to be from uh, 6 p.m. till uh, 12 a.m. on Friday night the 27th and on Saturday night the 28th I in the haunted house may be may be yours truly um, working on I uh, think that I may volunteer my time to actually participate in it uh, so get out there and support your local kids the next thing I wanted to talk about and this is from the video a couple, few days ago I went to try to check the deer camera and there wasn't nothing really to, at all to show um uh, a bear had knocked down the t uh, my trail camera and I didn't have no really interesting pictures at all really to be honest with you it got flooded and uh, it kind of ruined that camera but that's besides the point I've got another one up I'm gonna try to go check it maybe tomorrow or the next day don't know yet uh, you know it's getting fall time we're not at peak color yet but you know, these cool mornings such as this morning and last night and stuff, I'll tell you what you can do. Get your girlfriend, get your wife, get anything, anybody that you're dating, you know, I don't know what your relationship status is. You might be, you might be gay or whatever, I don't know. But whatever you are, get your partner out in the woods. It's a good time to kind of be romantic if you want to. I'm a big, big time romantic. I love to be romantic to my woman. And this time of year, you can get them out. You know, you got the pretty collars, so they're all and all wow. And really kind of enjoying, you know, seeing the pretty view and stuff. You can slick a move or two down right now. I'm telling you, you can. You know, get them out kind of right at the edge of the evening, you know, got the sun down just a little bit and got them pretty orange and brown and yellow leaves out on the trees and stuff you know leaves falling down around you or anything like that you know take camera you know get some pictures of you together you know that that's really really cool uh can put them in the mood and, you know might be might get lucky and never do know uh want to have a good time with your daughter or your son get them outdoors you know if you don't hunt get out and take a little ride in the woods you know uh, 
really enjoy it. You know, this is a time that you can make relationships a whole lot better. You know, if you've been fighting about a whole lot, guys, I'm telling you, you got to, anybody that's dating and that's in a new relationship, I got a buddy of mine and his woman just left him. And they always fought and they always argued. And I told him, buddy, sometimes you're wrong. You're wrong even if you're right. You're wrong. In a woman's eyes, a man is always wrong. They're the smarter ones. And sometimes they're right. I'd say about 60% of the time they're not. But, guys... Sometimes you got to let them say the hard way. You know, sometimes you just got to be wrong. Me and Ivory, we haven't really fought it here for a long time because I've learned that lesson finally. Finally, my hard head has finally learned that 70% of the time, that woman's right anyway. Just don't even argue. She's right. She might, fall, she might fall flat on her face in the end, but she's wrong. She's right, she's right, she's right. Just go ahead and show, say it. Honey, you're right, I'm wrong. Usually ends an argument right there and then. Then whenever it blows up in her face, she's gonna come and she's gonna see that she was right. But that's woman's never wrong. Another thing you want to think about is that, you know, this is a good time of year. You, you come home from work, you come home from school, whatever you may be doing, you're, t you're always tired. If you come in from work and you've worked 8 to 10, 12 hours a day, and you've worked underground, or if you've even went to school, you know, stress, aggravation, everything follows you in any workplace whatsoever. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Stress, aggravation is a big thing. Some people come home and they deal with their stress and aggravation by popping the top on a cold beer. Been there, done that, still do it, may do it today. Don't know. Um, some people come home and they'll smoke a joint. Now, preaching to the choir when I'm talking to the coal miners. You know, you may have done it before, but I'm pretty sure you won't do it now due to the fact that they do random drug testing. You don't know when they're going to do it. Anything like that. But, uh, but anyway, say no to drugs. But I'm getting to a point here. You know, instead of going home, smoking that joint, putting that needle in your arm, God forbid, snorting a pill up your nose if that's really what you want to do. I'm not telling you that you can't. By law, you can't. And Andy Stover Outdoors is a really big, uh, really big on obeying the law whenever it comes to controlled substances and such. I'm really, I don't approve of it whatsoever, but that's your deal, not mine. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be in my home. It's not going to be around my family. And if you do, get the hell away from me. But coming back to a point here, instead of popping that top, shooting that needle, smoking that joint, whatever, get outdoors. Take a ride, relax, go and just, even if you just uh, go down the road just a little bit and go back on the hill or something and just kind of look around. Life travels so, so fast when you're in a stressful situation, you know, it just, you might think it drags by, but it's not a very good quality life. And it's a hundred miles an hour, you know, if you're on production or you're producing something or anything like that, and you got a boss hollering at you or you got projects that's due and you got to do it in a certain amount of time and everything, you're always stressed out and aggravated and time goes by so damn fast, honestly, because you're under a deadline and it just seems like you can't make it. And next thing you know, hell, that time's gone. Where are you in the woods, on the other hand, 
everything slows down. Every single thing slows down. And you got a chance to think and relax. And, you, you know, and it happens. Now, in my mind, I don't say the name of it or anything like that. We have a lot of accidents, you know, which makes it stressful. They're pushing safety, which needs to be done. Safety is number one in any kind of job. So, you know, I'm stressed and aggravated. You don't see me going and drinking a 6 or 12 or 18, 30 pack, whatever it may be. Uh, so, just, you know, it, it's fine to drink in moderation. It's not fine to take drugs. So, please, think about how you're dealing with your stress and aggravation and take it outdoors. Take it outside. Just like that uh, Brantley Gilbert song. Take it outside. That song is Andy Stover approved. So, just enjoy your life. But jo enjoy it. You know, responsibly. You know, I don't want to see nobody in trouble. I don't want to see nobody end up on something that they can't, they can't get off of. So, for today, it's Andy Outdoors. Remember, repost to social media. We got a, uh, we got our haunted house. Say no to drugs and love that woman and love your kids. Y'all have good. <laughs>